Hi, everyone, and welcome. Uh, this class is going to be a 30 minute class focused on kind of like right after you wake up in the morning. So if you have props, feel free to grab them. Um, we'll do a little bit of everything. There's going to be movement, there will be sun salutations, um, breath work, but also some longer holds that can feel like yin. So it's gonna really have a lot here for you. Um, since it's just for the morning, like right after we wake up, let's go ahead and get started lying down on our backs. So extending the legs out long and the arms down by your sides. And if you start to feel any tension in your low back from lying down, go ahead and bend the knees, plant the feet pretty wide apart and then let your knees draw together. And as you begin to settle in, maybe you take a couple rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale. That again, breathe in. Take a slow breath out. And one more time, breathe in slowly through the nose, filling yourself up. And then exhale through the mouth, let it go. Now keep the breath moving in through the nose and out through the nose. Bring your hands onto your belly. Breathe in and feel your belly rise and expand. As you exhale, feel the belly come back down. Almost like it's starting to somewhat engage. So breathe in, really allow the belly to soften and press into the hands as you feel the belly expand. Exhale, feel the opposite movement of the navel moving back towards the spine. Do that three times on your own. Now begin to slide the hands up so that they kind of are around your mid ribs. And this time breathe in, feel the belly expand, but also feel your ribs start to widen. And exhale, feel the ribs slide together and feel the navel gently pull in. So breathing in belly first, then the ribs. Breathing out ribs first, then the belly. Do that a couple times on your own. Now bring one of your hands to your chest over the heart and breathe into the belly and the ribs and then feel the heart start to rise. Kind of like you're puffing up the chest. And as you exhale, feel the heart sink back down, ribs and belly. Inhaling belly, ribs, heart, and exhaling heart, ribs. Belly. Three part breath. You can release the hands or keep them on the body, but do this a few times on your own. If you could imagine that you're breathing one third of the breath into the belly, one third into the mid ribs, and then the last third all the way up into the chest, reaching the collarbones. And as you exhale, feeling that same kind of movement in the opposite direction. Breathing in. and breathing out. Nice, on your next inhale, stretch the arms back behind you, reach the legs out long in front of you. Stay here for an exhale. 
And then start to walk your feet to the bottom left corner of your mat without rolling over onto the left side of your body. And then start to kind of take the hands up and over to the left without rolling onto the left shoulder. So both shoulders, both hips are still grounded. Feel the side body stretch throughout the right side. At any point you could cross your ankles, you could take your hands, grab the right wrist with your left hand, or even take hands to opposite elbows, forearms. Take an inhale breath, imagine breathing. Again, this three-part breath, but imagine it just kind of opening up from the right heel up to the right hip, the IT band, all the way up through the ribs, through the right side of your body. Take a deep breath in. Big breath out. Just breathing in some energy into the lungs and into the entire body. Go ahead and switch, release, come back through center, take it to the other side. Feet walk to the bottom right corner, hands walk to the top right corner, cross ankles if that feels right. If it doesn't, you don't have to do it. And just make sure that everything's grounded. Hips are sealed down, shoulders are sealed. And you're thinking about creating a banana shape with your body, right? So you're feeling this big opening and stretch through the left side. Take a nice big breath in. Full breath out. Nice release, come back through center. Reach the arms nice and long back behind you. As you exhale, start to bring the right knee up into the chest and take the hands on top of the shin. Bring the right knee up towards the right shoulder or if you could imagine it going out and around the rib cage here. Flex through your left foot. Now take a breath in and a breath out. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, find supine twists. Drag the right knee over your body to the left and the right arm might naturally start to extend open to the right. You can bend the bottom leg as much as needed here. It might feel really um, strenuous to have that bottom leg straight, so bend it if that's the case. We just want a gentle twist of the spine and an opening in the hips. Take a deep breath in. Big breath out. One more time, inhale and exhale. Bring the right knee back in through center, hug it into the chest, hug the left knee up into the chest and then extend the right leg nice and long. Flex through the right foot. Think about bringing the left knee up towards the left armpit, take a breath in, breath out, stay. One more inhale, and as you exhale, it's the supine twist. Left knee goes over your body, maybe left arm extends out long. Give yourself a moment here. Notice if you need to bend the bottom leg at all. Breathe. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale your way back through center. Hug both knees into the chest. Give them a little squeeze. And then keep your knees hugging in. Start to lift your chest off the floor, or I'm sorry, your back off the floor. So you're kind of lifting the chest towards your knees. And then extend your left foot forward. So forward could mean forward towards the sky, or it could be all the way extended out to a hover. Flex through both feet. Think about hugging your right knee into your chest. Take a breath in. Exhale, switch. So left knee hugs in, right foot extends forward. I'm sorry, inhale, switch. Exhale, hold. Inhale, switch. Exhale, hold. You could add arms by reaching them forward. Keep using your breath here. So really, and you can always take the hands behind the head if you'd like. Breathing in to switch. Breathing out to hold. In fact, bring your hands behind your head, interlace the fingers, and then start to bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. And I want you to move really slow as you're doing this. 
<laughs> not to like torture you, but I do want you to feel this movement. Inhaling, switch, exhaling to twist. Inhaling, switch the legs, exhale, complete the twist. Keep going. Last little bit. Last one. Hug the knees up into the chest. Take a deep breath in. Rock and roll yourself along your spine. And find your way to all fours, tabletop pose. We're gonna keep warming up through the spine since that's really important in the mornings. So inhale for cow pose. Think about drawing the tailbone up and letting the belly drop as the chin reaches forward and up. Exhale for cat. Think of rounding through the spine. So flexion of your spine. Inhaling cow extension of the spine. So focus the awareness on your actual spine. Couple more rounds, breathing in and breathing out. Go ahead and add any movement. If you wanna start letting the hips move side to side, or if you wanna add some barrel rolls of letting the whole body kind of move side to side. Or maybe you're like, I want a child's pose right now. Go ahead and take a child's pose. Check in with how your hands and your feet feel. Maybe you wanna tuck your toes and stretch the bottoms of your feet. First thing in the morning, okay, that can feel really good and just supportive. Take a couple moments here. You could stretch out the wrists by pressing the tops of your hands down. And eventually find your way to a downward facing dog. So tuck the toes, press the hips back and then up. And the gaze should be, well, it shouldn't be anywhere, but think about the ears being in between the biceps. So notice if you're kind of cranking the neck to look back or if you're cranking it to look forward and see if you can have a neutral spine so that the neck feels like an extension of your spine. Take a breath and lift your heels. Start to roll yourself forward to a high plank pose. You might have to walk your hands forward a little bit. Take a breath in here. And I want you to bend your knees in plank. So keep the knees low to the ground, start to press your hips back towards your heels, then lift your hips for down dog. Do that again, inhale forward, high plank. Exhale, bend the knees, hips back, then up. Do that as many times as you'd like, trying to move with your breath. Really feeling the extension and the flexion of your spine as you move through these cat-cow planks. Take about one more. We'll end in a plank pose. Hold here, lower the knees, drop yourself all the way down. And reach your arms out long in front of you, kind of like a Superman position. Press down through the right hand and the left foot. Inhale, lift the left hand and the right leg. Stay here, breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, release. Switch sides, inhale, right arm lifts, left leg lifts. Press down through the left hand and the top of your right foot, breathe in. Exhale, release. Again, switch, left hand lifts, right leg lifts. A little quicker, release. Right hand lifts, left leg lifts, release. Bring the hands back under the shoulders. Press yourself back into a child pose. Take a big breath in. You could rock your forehead side to side. And then start to come forward into a tabletop downward facing dog. Lift your heels high, bend your knees, walk your feet forward to find a ragdoll pose coming towards the front of your mat. Bend your knees as much as you need here. Separate the feet as wide as you need. Hands can go to opposite elbows. And especially first thing in the morning, I always bend my knees a lot more than I think I need. 
because I can get really stiff after waking up. So you can sway the body side to side. And then from here, walk the feet in so that they're at least just hip width distance. And on your breath in, find a halfway lift. Bring the hands to the shins or blocks. So if you have blocks, you could bring the temp to the tallest setting and bring the hands there. Lift your chest. So stay here in a halfway lift. Imagine squeezing inner thighs together. Lift up through the toes. So the weight's kind of in the heels and bend your knees. And then your core is really strong. So if you were to reach your arms out in front of you, biceps next to ears, here's halfway lift, right? Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Do that again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Let's come all the way up. Stand up tall, reach the hands up high, big breath in. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Reach the left fingertips up and over to your right. Press down through your left foot. Think about the whole left side of your body opening up, almost like that banana pose we started with. Come back up through center, switch. Right hand reaches up and over to the left. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale back through center. And as you exhale, hands to heart center, forward fold, bend the knees. Inhale for your halfway lift again. Keep the left hand planted, bend your left knee, reach your right arm forward and then twist it up towards the sky. So your right leg can straighten out. Your left hand could be on the ground, on a block, or you can even take your left elbow, place it on top of the left thigh. Stay here for a moment, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Switch sides, halfway lift, breathe in. Plant right hand, bend right knee, and then exhale, twist and open to the left. Left arm reaches up, left leg can straighten out, breathe in. Take a breath out. One more inhale. Exhale to forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into a high plank pose. Inhale to shift forward on the tippy toes, lower down halfway. Remember, you can always drop the knees. Try not to let the shoulders go below the elbows. And then upward facing dog, straighten through the arms, press down through the tops of your feet so your thighs are off the ground. And then we have downward facing dog from here. Lift the hips high. Take a moment, take a breath in, full breath out. And then inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, and then step the right foot forward. You can find hands on blocks, find a runner's lunge from here. Sink the hips, look forward, take a breath in. And a breath out. Release the back knee down. Reach the arms forward and up on Janayasana. Stay here for a moment. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Take the left fingers to the right. So now we're stretching through that whole left side of our body and through the side body hip flexor. Take one more breath in and out. Come back up through center, exhale, release. Hands come down, tuck the back toes, step the left foot forward, forward, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, hands go up. Hands through heart center, forward, fold, bend the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. Remember, you can always use blocks as support. Shift forward on the tippy toes, lower down for your Chaturanga Dandasan, and then inhale for your back bend. Remember, you could be going all the way down and take a baby cobra. And then downward facing dog is where we need. Take a breath in and a breath out. Lift the heels, bend the knees, stay here. And then you're just gonna step the left foot forward to meet the left hand. 
hands can go on blocks again. Runner's lunge, so really allow your hips to sink down, press down and forward through that left foot and lift the chest. This is where blocks can really come in handy. Take a breath in, exhale, release, right knee down. Arms go forward and up on Janayasana. Press down and back through the right foot. Breathe in. Exhale to forward fold. Step the right foot forward. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall. Mountain pose. Exhale, open up. You can cactus the arms. Find a little back bend. Reach back up. Hands through heart center. Forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, pie plank pose, step back. Lower down for your chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Step the right foot through, low lunge. Gaze forward, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips down and back. Think about squeezing inner thighs together. Think about the belly drawing up and in. Breathe in, twist to the right, right arm back, left arm forward, hold. Inhale back to chair, twist to the left, left arm back, right arm forward, hold here. Inhale, stand tall, breathe in. Exhale, open up. Inhale, reach up. Hands through heart, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step, maybe hop back. Find your way to chaturanga. Whatever that looks like for you. If it's the morning and you're not really into it, then just come all the way down. You can take a baby cobra or you can even skip it. Inhale, left leg rises. Three-legged dog, breathe in. Step it through, low lunge. Gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, sit the hips, breathe in. On the exhale, root down through your right foot, fly both arms back, fly your left leg back, airplane pose. Squeeze your pinky fingers towards one another. Keep your chest lifted. If you need to bring the left big toe to the ground, then you can do that right? Flex through the left foot. If it is lifted, take one more breath in. Step high crescent lunge. Left foot steps down, arms reach up high. Breathe in. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Twist to the right, right arm back, left arm forward. Hold, breathe in. Big breath out. And then find warrior two. Spin the left heel down, open the arms wide. Stay, breathe in. Reverse your warrior, inhale, breath. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the ground. <clears throat> High plank, find chaturanga. <clears throat> Meeting in downward facing dog, take a breath in. Breath out. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knees, gaze forward, lightly step or hop front of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale to fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, breath. Exhale, fly the arms back. Bring the left foot down or keep the left foot down and fly the right leg back behind you. Airplane pose. Notice if you're wobbly or more wobbly on this side. Right? And try to just be easy on yourself. If you need to take the hands to heart center or bring them to blocks or the right toe needs to come down, Right, really light, keep it light. It's just, you know, a yoga practice that we're just trying to connect to ourselves, not beat ourselves up if our balance is off today. Find high crescent lunge, take a deep breath in. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Twist left arm back, right arm forward. Stay here, breathe in, breathe out. Warrior two, spin it open, take a moment, breathe in. Stay here for the exhale, reverse your warrior as you inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands down, high plank, low plank, chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward, lightly step or hop, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus the arms, open up. Inhale, reach up. Hands through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, last one. You can step, you can hop back, you can skip it. Inhale, upward facing, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Big breath out. Take the right leg high for three-legged dog. Reach it back and up. Bend your right knee. Squeeze your right heel into your right glute. Take a breath in. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, back to a three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back to a three-legged dog. Keep the knee bent. Exhale, twist, right knee to left. Open up to a scorpion dog, breathe in. Pigeon pose, bring the right knee forward, place it behind the right wrist. Tuck the left toes, slide the left knee back, lengthen up tall. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Sink the hips down. Try to keep a tall spine first before lowering to your forearms. If you're already there, it's okay. Take another moment, breathe. Make your way back up to your hands. I like to have my hands on blocks. Start to tuck the left toes and kind of inch that left knee in. And then you're gonna press into the blocks, lift the right knee into your chest like a crunch. Take it back, three-legged dog, breathe in. Release it down. Inhale, left leg rises, bend the left knee, squeeze left heel into the glute. Take a breath in, exhale, left knee, left tricep. Imagine there's a ball behind the left knee and you're not trying to let it go. Take that left leg back and up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, inhale, back and up. Twist, left knee to the right tricep. And then it's a scorpion dog. Open up, breathe in. Pigeon pose, left knee comes behind the left wrist. Tuck the right toe, slide the left, right knee back. Think about lifting up first so that we're also stretching through that right hip flexor, not just the glute. Give yourself a breath in and out. You're welcome to always lower down to your forearms. Breathe. One more inhale and exhale. And then tuck the right toes, press into your hands, maybe scooch the right knee in. And you're gonna press so much, you're gonna lift the right knee into the chest, hover it there, and then step back down dog. Drop the knees, tabletop, find a cow pose, breathe in. Find a cat pose, breathe out. Just do that a couple of times. Inhaling for cow, exhaling for cat. And then go ahead and if you have a block, bring it in between your heels and sit your hips back onto that block. So that we're in a hero's pose. Take an inhale, roll the shoulders up towards the ears. He'll roll them down the back. Do that again. Just roll the arms up. You can cactus the arms. Just make some big circles. And then cross the arms. Doesn't matter which one's on top. Hands to opposite shoulders. Lift up through the elbows. Breathe in. Exhale, hug the elbows in and round the spine. Maybe even kind of move your body side to side.
Release, come back up to a neutral spine. Let the arms come down by your side. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Breathe. Drop the chin to your chest, roll the head to the left. Left ear, left shoulder. Breathe. If it feels okay to let your head roll back, Gently let it go back to the right, back to the left. Drop the chin to the chest. Roll the head side to side. Bring the head up to neutral. Bring the palms to either face down on your legs. You could have them also face up if you feel you need receiving this morning or whenever you're watching. A lot more grounding hands down. Take a slow breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Bring your right hand to the heart and the left hand to the belly. Take a moment to feel this connection to yourself. Slowing things down. Bring the hands together at heart center, gently bow your head. Take a slow breath in. Open mouth, exhale. I'm gonna bring my hands at heart center and I humbly bow from my heart to each of yours. Thank you so much for letting me guide you.